Welcome to my lecture online. Now it's time to review what we've learned so far as far as the general solutions of the second order homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients a, b, and c. Note there's no missing terms and when we use a characteristic equation we can write this as ar squared plus br plus c equals zero and when we solve for the roots we have r is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a, just like we're solving a quadratic equation in algebra. There's then three different possibilities. The possibilities depend upon the value of b squared minus 4ac. If b squared minus 4ac is larger than zero, then we end up with two real roots, column r1 and r2, which is determined by this equation right here. And then the general solution is y, the solution to this differential equation, is equal to some constant times e to the r1t, r1 being the first of the two roots, plus another constant, c2, times e to the r2 times t, r2 being the other one of the two roots. The second case is when b squared minus 4ac is exactly equal to zero. In that case, the remainder of that is minus b over 2a, which means there's simply a single root, r equals minus b over 2a. Then the general solution to the differential equation, y, is equal to some constant times e to the rt, so it starts out exactly the same as before, but since there's only one root, we repeat and we have an additional t in there. Remember on the previous video, we used Abel's theorem to show you why that t is there. So the second term is plus another constant, c2, times t, times e to the rt, of course, r has to be the same number since there's only one single root. And finally, the third case is where the amount b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. If it's less than zero, we have the square root of a negative number, which gives us an imaginary number. Therefore, there will be two imaginary roots, one for the plus and one for the minus, and the general form of those will be r1 and 2 is equal to the real part plus or minus the imaginary part, i times b. Then the general solution to this original differential equation can be written as y is equal to e to the at, a being the real part of the two roots, times, and then in brackets we have one constant, times the cosine of bt, b being the value here of the imaginary part, plus another constant times the sine of bt. And we've shown you in previous videos that yes indeed, you can go ahead and plug this back into the original equation and show that this is indeed the solution, even though they're imaginary parts. But in this case, we don't express the imaginary parts and it still can be shown to be the general solution of the original differential equation. So here are the three different cases you can run into using the characteristic equation. We solve for the roots and the Three different cases will give us three different forms of the general solution to this differential equation. And that's how it's done.